I don't know if mine is going to be that entertaining, but we'll try. <laughs> okay, so Art Farms is a collaborative effort to turn plots into places, and we are utilizing locally grown food, art, and community as our tools to build hubs of positive activity in formerly vacant spaces in Buffalo's east side. So this is the story of our first project, or agri-sculpture, as we call it. So our story begins with this guy, an artist named Michael Bites, who has this amazing gift for building these very whimsical sculptural pieces of furniture. And the piece that he designed for Art Farms is appropriately called Tree, and it is essentially a massive picnic table that morphs into the shape of a tree. And it was placed at Michigan Riley Farm earlier this spring. So Michael's intent was to merge the symbolic forms of the tree and the picnic table in order to create a piece that would really promote and make us uh, reevaluate these themes of food and art and community. And he really just wanted to create a beautiful place where the community could come together. So this project is nothing if not a testament to Michael's incredible work ethic. Um, when we contacted him, he was in the midst of an artist residency in Roswell, New Mexico, which is nowhere near Buffalo, New York, but he wholeheartedly agreed to build the sculpture anyway, and um, he put in 18-hour days working to get it done. So he built the table to completion, very carefully disassembled it, and labeled each and every part, wrote very detailed instructions, as you can see there, packed it up and shipped it to us across the country here in Buffalo, New York. So myself and a crew of volunteers met the truck very early in the morning, just three days before our launch event, and in just five hours we had this piece of art reassembled. So I had a group of volunteers who all had full-time jobs, and other commitments, and they showed up first thing in the morning, and they didn't leave until the job was done. It was um, an amazing experience working with them. We even had this guy, one of our farmers, Mike Raleigh, show up with a cast on his arm, and he Aww. insisted upon helping us build the table, and he was really our main problem solver and our leader um, in putting things together. You can see him wielding a rubber mallet and pounding in screws just like everybody else. Um, and it was at this moment that I really understood the power of community in propelling a project forward. So Michael eventually envisioned his table resting in a grove of trees and really being this place where visitors could come and find peace and solace and just enjoy um, sharing time together. So we partnered with a local startup company called Backyard Orchards Landscaping and we went to work putting trees in the ground. And again, this was just one of those experiences where you really understood the importance of community in embracing a project and making it happen. Um, this was just two days before our launch event. We were putting trees in the ground, and we had some surprise guest planters show up, which was pretty great. Um, so then it was time for the big day, our launch party, and we had people show up from all over the city, from the neighborhood, from every corner of the city, we even had some bikers take a detour from the sky ride, believe it or not, and they pedaled over to see this work of art in person. So we wanted it not only to be an exhibition of Michael's piece, but an exhibition of these four core elements of food and art and community. So we offered a free barbecue that featured a lot of dishes, lovingly prepared by volunteers, um, that featured locally sourced ingredients from our local farms. And then our guests also had the opportunity to take a farm tour. So all of our farmers were on hand to lead the guests around the farm, give them a sense of what's been growing there, and just really what that whole process of cultivating food is in, in an urban setting is like. And um, it helped these guests gain an appreciation for what these farmers are doing. So obviously art is a very important component of art farms, and in addition to the opening for Michael, we wanted our guests to participate in making art, and mainly this was our younger guests who were participating, but we obviously had some face painting going on and a clay art project where they could decorate pots and um, take seedlings home with them. And then the last and obviously most critical piece to us is community, so we wanted to find a way to bottle the community's opinions of our launch event and our project in general, so everyone was invited to write a message or draw a picture of what their dream was for art firms going forward. And we had those pages bound into a book, which will be our Bible for community impact going forward. So one of our requests was for art classes. 
So last month, we partnered with Locust Street Art Gallery and we offered the Free at the Tree series where kids were allowed to just show up at the table and bring their creativity. We provided all the materials and the instructor and they just had fun. So this is the corner of Michigan Avenue and Laurel Street um, a year ago. And when you're looking at this picture, it's hard to envision this as a place with potential or a place that could someday become you know, vibrant and bubbling with life and activity and food and art. Um, and this was taken on May 31st of 2014 at our launch event. Um, and I think that this image alone is just a testament to that very underestimated transformational power of food and art and community. And though they're very basic and fundamental in nature, I think that they are universally needed and they are beloved. So they could serve as the strongest pillars for a very grassroots attack on urban blight. And I think that we can create positive change by taking ourselves back to the roots of how we sustain ourselves and how we express ourselves. So um, the places that evolve around our efforts are just the beginning. So we're looking forward to new sites in 2015. Thank you for having me.